Hello, so I've decided to make it a little bit of a feature on this channel that I review Tanya's acting performance in whatever she's in, if I can get my hands on a clip or I can go and see her or watch it on TV. So Tanya Burr is a famous sort of beauty vlogger or blogger and recently she sort of turned her hand to acting. Now I've reviewed a play that she was in previously called Confidence at the Southwark Theatre in London and I will leave a link to that review down below if you're interested. If you're interested in hearing my opinion on her future acting roles, please subscribe and also click the bell icon. But in this video, we're actually going to talk about Tanya's latest acting role, which is in the Sky One show Bulletproof. And in my opinion, Bulletproof is possibly Tanya's biggest acting role to date. Now take that with a pinch of salt and you'll see why in a minute. But Bulletproof is a Sky One programme, so it's got the biggest viewership of anything that Tanya Burr has done to date. In case you don't know, Bulletproof is a crime drama with two sort of chalk and cheese lead characters, and through the course of the series, through the sort of solving of gritty crimes in London's East End, you learn about the relationship between the two lead characters and I guess that'll sort of develop over the course of the series. But let's get on to Tanya's performance. So she actually plays a character called Rebecca in episode 5 of series 1 and Rebecca is a receptionist. Now prior to watching this clip I read a lot on MostlyGuruGossiper.com to see what people's opinions were of her acting in Bulletproof and I have to say um, Guru Gossip are not kind at the best of times and they were particularly critical of her role in Bulletproof. So to summarise, she had multiple personalities, she was underacting, she didn't show the right emotions, uh, she looked angry, she was out of place, she was confused, basically every criticism under the sun. And that's just typical of Guru Gossip. They seem to kind of get off on criticising everything she does. So I'm going to give you my opinion, which I think is more objective. Before I kind of get into this, I'd just like to say I do have no, no vested interest in Tanya Burr. It doesn't benefit me to give a positive or a negative opinion of her acting. I'm just trying to give you an objective opinion on her acting performance. So let's get on with my opinion. So the truth is, it's actually impossible to give a critical opinion on Tanya Burr's appearance in Bulletproof. Her role in Bulletproof is the smallest role it is possible to have. She has the role of an extra that has one line. I actually calculated how long she's on screen for. She's visible on screen for 11 seconds. She says one small sentence, something along the lines of good morning, how can I help you? And then she picks up a phone, looks over at an office and looks back and that's it. Then you just see the back of her head and her from a distance. It's literally a blink and you'll miss it appearance. It was 11 seconds. This is not a big role. She doesn't stand out uh, and to be honest, if anybody else had been playing that role as an extra, she just they just wouldn't have attracted any comment, positive or negative. And actually, that's exactly how it should be. An extra role isn't supposed to stand out. Um, so really, <laughs> I, I hate to kind of side with Tanya again. In fact, it gives me a little bit of a nervous tick. But to be honest, you know, she played this exactly as she had to as an extra. So frankly, it's somewhat unrealistic and unfair that the guru gossipers have sort of launched on her in this way. She just doesn't deserve the level of criticism that's been levelled at her. And I think this sort of criticising her kind of facial expressions or the way she moves her head or something or the exactly the way she looks uh, is probably more personal than an actual objective opinion on her acting ability. And one thing that the guru gossipers seem to forget is that, you know, a role like this is going to have been directed line for line, facial expression to facial expression. They will have told her, you know, look up, deliver the line, look over to the side, pick up the phone, speak. And if they wanted her to look confused or they wanted her to look angry or shocked, they would have told her to do it and she would have done it. 
there is no room for creative expression in a one sentence role in a TV program. I mean, what's she supposed to do? Think about it. You know, oh my God, you've got a bulletproof vest on. They would have said, you know, don't do that. Just deliver the line. It's daft. Listen to yourself. So sadly, that is all I can say about this very short 11 second extra role in a mainstream TV program. I can't say that it's good or bad. It just doesn't, doesn't stand out. And really that's the intention of an extra role. So we will have to wait until Tanya's next acting role before we maybe get an idea of how good she actually is on TV. If you're interested to see how she performed in the lead role as the character Ella in the play Confidence at the Southwark Theatre, I'll leave a link to that review down below. As I said, do remember to subscribe and hit the bell icon if you're interested in hearing my opinion on any other acting roles that Tanya has in the future. Thanks for watching and I shall see you next time for another video.